Welcome to this video where we're going to be testing all my favorite image generation models so you can see which one might be the right one for you. Now, I'm not going to be testing every single one. I'm just going to be testing the ones that I use frequently, which are image effects from Google. The reason why I'm really interested to testing this one because they just updated their version three and it is arguably one of the best ones out now. Uh, we've got the Recraft V3, Red Panda, Stable Diffusion 3.5, and Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra from Black Forest Labs. I'm also testing these three here together because they're very easy for me to test because I've got an account on full. Is this gonna be a very scientific research component? I'm not a scientist, so no, I just use these tools a lot and I wanna give you an understanding of which one might be the best one for you. We're going to be testing a couple of things here and you can get a copy of this PDF if you want below. We're going to be testing the text fidelity, meaning how easy or how well the model can generate text within an image. We're going to text test human representation, meaning how real the human actually looks in the image. Brand consistency, meaning if I want to generate a, a can of Coca-Cola, how good is it at doing that? And then a more complex scene to kind of throw the kitchen sink at these models. I've got the prompts prepared for each of these ones, and we're going to use the same prompt for each of the uh, models here. And then we're going to give a rating from one to five, one being the worst, five being the best here. And at the end, we'll have some sort of some sort of data telling us which one might be the best one for you. And I've got them all here. And like I said, I've got Recraft, Stable Diffusion, and Flux here because they're very easy to test for me, all with the same prompt, nice and easily with uh, full.ai. So like I said, I've got prompts ready here. The first prompt will be the text fidelity, how good you can create text here. So I'm here, uh, the prompt here is a vibrant, urban alleyway with the long brick wall painted in layers of colorful graffiti. At the center, a bold spray painted mural clearly spells out hello world, right? In intricate stylized lettering. That way we can see that it can create a little bit of art, but also it can actually create text that makes sense. We'll do this firstly with image effects from Google. I'll place this prompt here. This is quite a long one for Google. It usually you know, allows for shorter ones, but I'm just going to create here. And whilst we're doing that one, we're going to do the rest for Recraft V3. Uh, we're going to set realistic image for all of them. I want to text, test really the realism. There's a bunch of more parameters that I could test here, but that's the ones that I tend to use. So I'm going to test them all out here and Flex 1.1 Pro. So whilst they're all generating, uh, I'm going to go to the first one to image FX. Cool. Google right away gives you a couple of uh, things that we can test out and they're looking pretty good. So the it clearly says hello world, hello world and hello world. And the realism from Google, I got to say, is getting better and better and better. Uh, let's see if we go to Recraft again. Pretty good. <laughs> it's going to be difficult to set these apart. Hello world looks really good. Stable diffusion. Uh, I see what it's done here, but I can't read it too much, and that might just be the stylized component that it decided to go with. I'm not sure if I'm going to give that a five, though, and let's go to Flux. Hello, world. Cool. So all of them did that pretty well. I'm going to... This is obviously a very subjective test here that I'm doing, but for text fidelity, I'm going to give Google 5, uh, Recraft uh, 5, Stable Diffusion, not so much. I'm just going to go 4 and Flux Ultra, I'm gonna give five because all of them did it remarkably, remarkably well. For human representation, I think this is where some will kind of not do as best as others. So here the prompt is a portrait of a 30 year old woman seated in a small outdoor cafe table along uh, Cobblestone Street in a historic European village. And then we kind of explain what she should look like. She has a dark, softly wavy hair, warm brown eyes and a gentle, confident smile. Right, so that component from the face needs to be seen. And then we have what she's wearing. So she, um, her earth toned blouse components are subtle tones of the old stone buildings behind her. A white delicate porcelain teacup rests in her hand. So we'll be able to see here how good the hand representations is that for a lot of models tends to be a bit of an issue. So again, we're gonna try this with image effects. Hopefully I don't run out of free um, test here. So I'm going to create here for that one. 
And for uh, recraft, I'm going to run this. And if you disagree with anything that I've said, please let me know in the comments. This is very subjective, so I'd love to know your opinions in the comments below, and maybe we can test other models, maybe image video generation model, sorry, next, and see how we go. So again here, we are testing how realistic that image looks. Uh, again, I'm always amazed by image effects. That looks, that looks pretty good. I mean, let's go a little bit deeper here and actually zoom in to images like this and see how real it looks. I'm going to make this as big as I can. Her fingers look okay. The porcelain looks fantastic. If we zoom in, I mean, her skin looks a bit too flawless. Uh, but again, if we prompt this and maybe a little bit differently, it will give us another variation of it. But the detail in their hair and like the single hairs, that always impresses me as well. The rest is pretty good. What I like about Google is that it doesn't, as soon as you say women with a lot of these models, they just give it a massive breast and boobs and it doesn't do that in this instance. So that's not too bad. Let's see the other ones before we start scoring them. We got Recraft here and recraft these, we'll download and look at it correctly or nice and uh, large this time. This doesn't look 100% from recraft, which is weird because usually they were really good for this, but her eyes look wonky as anything. I mean, Jesus, look at that. Uh, she's got two cups here. So for sure, that's something that I probably wouldn't like to use. Her ears look wonky. So Recraft definitely not doing so well here. We got Stable Diffusion. Let's just look at it um, in a little bit more of a zoomed in perspective. Again, this isn't extremely scientific, but it's just a way that you can see this. This one's a little bit better than, Re than Recraft, Stable Diffusion. Her Eyes are okay, a little bit weird around here, and a hand and a teacup. I don't know what's going on there. So, a bit better than the previous one, than Recraft Stable Diffusion, but not as good as I thought it was going to be. Let's go Flux 1.1 Pro. Uh, I'm going to download the image and zoom in so we give all of them a fair chance. Fair chance, you know, quote unquote. And cool. This is probably just as good as Google here from the human composition. Again, her eyes, I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty perfect face, like too perfect sometimes. I find that with image models, her hands perfect. She's got a natural looking teacup. It's not wonky. So I don't know, preference. I think Google's going to win here. Uh, so I'm just going to go to the human representation. Google's five out of five. Recraft, let me just take a look at that again. Yeah, that's a two. Her eyes are shocking and it's got two teacups there that doesn't really make sense. So for me, I'm gonna go, oh, let's go to, uh, for stable diffusion, let's take a look again. This one here, her hand just wrecks it for me. Uh, let's take a closer look here. Yeah, the hand's wonky. So I'm gonna be pretty mean here. I think Stable Diffusion is not that good and Flux will put it forward. There's something I like about Google a little bit more than the human representation, right? So we've got Google here and all the representations are pretty spot on, right? It's got the one hand, the one T, uh, but Flux 1.1 is pretty good as well. Now, is it fair that Google, I'm judging because Google created four, not really, but still, you get the idea. I think Flux will give a four uh, as well. Cool, so the next one is brand consistency. I think this is really interesting because one, we'll see if it can actually create brands that it probably shouldn't because it might be copyright infringement. And recently, Google has kind of gotten away with this, at least in the stuff that I've tried out. So the prompt is gonna be a single Coca-Cola can sits atop of a weathered wooden crate in a quiet rural roadside fruit stand. The signature red can and it's a distinctive white logos contrast against the rustic setting with apples, oranges, and a bit of things behind, but I'm really looking for the classic Coke can perspective here. Let's go to image effects. We're going to select all of these here. 
Uh, we're going to create this one. I'm going to go recraft, and we're going to run stable diffusion. I'm going to run and flux 1.1, and we're going to run. Hopefully, I don't run out of credits. That should be fine. Now, obviously. Again, the test is very subjective and each model will do better when you prompt it differently. Some models you don't need to prompt too much because they probably have a system prompt in the back end telling it how to um, how to then improve that prompt. Some don't. I suspect that Google has a pretty good system prompt in the back end. And I mean, if I didn't know any better, that is a pretty spot on code can. It's a tiny bit short, but I think that's okay. And the apple's a bit funky there, but the main aspect was the Coke can. And I mean, that's pretty perfect. It's even kind of showing you the side here of where they show the, uh, the scanning code. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, recraft again, they tend to do this thing. And I don't know if that's because they have to be really careful of the image itself and copyright infringement. The fruits here look incredibly real. So it wins there, but the coat can, I mean, that's pretty woeful, right? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's take a look at stable diffusion. And it's not looking good for stable diffusion as well. Let me just bring this in here. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. That is bad. Even the images look the sorry the um there's something about this that looks grainy and fake. And obviously the can looks nothing like a coke can. So let's go to flux. And ooh, again, I think flux and really Google are gonna be the best ones here. Uh, let's just go to flux. Not the best. And I don't know if there's a Coke can that size, but a little bit better to be honest. So here I'm going to do, f I mean, f for Google, I'm going to give four just because of the Apple was a bit funky on the first one here. The Coke can itself looks pretty spot on. Recraft. Yeah, I don't know. I think, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to put that at three here. Uh, stable diffusion. That's a two. I think that's pretty woeful compared to the other ones. And flux will put it four as well. Just because of the size of the can, it wasn't really, it's not really an actual Coke can. It's, they're not that size and there's a bit of funkiness going on here. So we'll do that for, for that one. Um, again, if you disagree, let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's go to the last one, the complex composition. Complex composition here for me just means that, well, what can I throw at this thing to do the hardest thing possible, right? So here, it's a the prompt is a bustling street market at dawn where the stalls overflow with exotic, exotic spices, colorful textiles, handwoven baskets, the vendors and shoppers. So we're going to see a lot of people here. We'll see how it does this and a bunch more things here. What I want to see if it gets the vendors, meaning a lot of shoppers, which will be a little bit hard, uh, the morning light passing through and um, in the distance, a trio of musicians play quietly. So there should be some people around, stalls, and some musicians playing some music in the background. This would be probably the most interesting one where we're going to see the most errors. Hopefully, again, I don't run out of credits during this, but I don't think we will. I'm going to create Google effects. We're going to create with uh, Recraft. We're going to create with Stable Diffusion. And we're going to create with Flux 1.1. If you guys like this, we could probably do this, like I said, in a video generation. Which one's the best? Ideally, when Google comes out with their VO2. I can't use it at the moment. Uh, wow. Well, let me download this and just give it a zoom in to see what we're working with. The market looks incredible. I think... The sum of the 
images here don't look too good. We've got the three musicians though. Just the faces of the people look a little bit funky. But if I gave this a quick look, I honestly wouldn't think about it twice. I think this was a beautiful taking photo. Uh, man, somewhere in Morocco probably. This is pretty cool. But it got a few people in the street. The markets I think was a beautiful representation and the musicians in the background. That's not too bad at all. It's got a recraft. Uh, and yeah, whew. here the faces are not good at all. I don't see the musicians in the background. They just blend into a blob of things here in the background. Again, the buildings look pretty good, but nothing like Google's, I think. Let's go to uh, Recraft. This is probably one of the worst ones, I would say. Old mate's missing a leg here. That's not a real instrument, I don't think. And there's a bunch of things happening here that's not really good. All right, and finally, we're gonna go to Flux 1.1. Again, Flux 1.1 and Google seem to be the best ones. It's actually done something really smart where it's kind of faded the faces in the background so they don't look incorrect. But again, if we zoom in, you don't really see them. Uh, but the market look okay. The bodies of the people look good and you actually see a guitar here. There's not three musicians. There's two with one missing the body of the guitar, but not that bad. I'd give this a three. So I think I'm going to go with four here because of the faces of him, of Google. Recraft uh, three, I think. And then Stable Division was the worst one. And Flux, we're going to give to four three i think no that's not fair i think we'll give that four as well so let me know what you think i think obviously number one google is probably the best one at the moment also because it's really easy to use they don't have an api yet but it's pretty easy to use if you go to um labs forward labs.google forward slash fx tools image i think this is pretty amazing you can do a bunch more things here if you want me to do more detailed tutorials on how to use any of these image generation software let me know, but I think to play it safe with anything, particularly once they have the API, ideally they do, then this is Google's probably going to be the best one. I was surprised. I thought the Recraft was going to be a lot better, but these generations aren't really that good. And this is, again, something that maybe it's my fault that I'm not prompting these correctly, but trying to use the same prompt across the AI image generation tools, you can see that, at least in my opinion, I think Google is one of the best ones. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, if you like this comparison type of videos, maybe we can do more. Leave it in the comments below. Again, if you want to learn to use all these tools for marketing automations and how to connect them with APIs to automate social media posts, for example, with images like this, I recommend you join our online community, the AI Ranking School community, where we teach you, we simplify SEO for you, and we teach you how to make automations and use AI tools to maximize your search engine optimization, your SEO, and your marketing. I'll leave a link below if you want to join that. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Let me know what you want to see next. Cheers.